That's puzzling. Welcome back to That's Puzzling, a place to puzzle or be puzzled. And this week, we are introducing our first puzzle. Yes. It's called Snowy Slopes Puzzle, and it's from Target. And I got it for Christmas from my cousin Alexa. Absolutely. 500 pieces, and we're ready to go. Absolutely. Open that bitch up. We're ready to go. We're going to put this over here because... We have to see it. Yeah. Ready? Mm-hmm. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And obviously, the first thing we have to do is move this closer. Yes. And flip all the pieces over. Oh, all of them? Yeah. Okay. Is that how you do a puzzle? Maybe. I find the edges. That too. Yeah. That too. I always find the edges first, and that's probably what I'll be doing. Yes. And this week, we will be talking about... What's been puzzling us. And I think we're going to do that every episode. We're going to yeah. say what's been puzzling us this week, and go ahead and delve into that. What's, yeah. Yep. Go mm -hmm. into it. Yes. <laughs> I've got to list of words. Yes. Um, so, Isabella, what's been puzzling you this week? Actually, I'm going to let you go first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this week I've been really puzzled by the hydro es hydro excavator noise outside of my apartment that they've been doing for about three weeks now. And just like to start around 7 a.m. and go ahead and go on for the rest of the day. Oh, I love that. And it's really loud and it just goes. Kind of sounds like what I'm dealing with with my neighbors above me. Yes. Oh. It's so fun. Yay. I'm actually really obsessed with it. Okay. It's been a nice soundtrack to my life for the last week. So I'm just puzzled by the fact that it's not done yet and the fact that we haven't heard from our apartment as to when it will be completed. And we have a balcony and it's just right outside there. So yeah, looking forward to that being over. But And the street is pretty small. So like it is literally right under your window, your bedroom yeah. window. Love that. It's so fun. I've been walking past the construction workers just like hoping and praying that I could ask them I bet you when's could. this going to be over. Yeah. Do you think they would tell you or no? But is that a like... I don't think I would talk to them. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. It kind of freaks me out. Control. Also would reveal that I live here to them and I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, true. Anyways... That's what's been puzzling me. What's been puzzling you? Oh, you're going to giggle a little bit. So so I have this notes app in my phone where I just kind of write all my weird thoughts. And last night I opened it up because it was, you know, after work. And you yeah. had something to put in there. Yeah, I got off work pretty late. I was watching YouTube and... A thought came to my mind and I was like I really like watching those videos on snapchat of like rusty repairs of like tools <laughs> and Ooh. sometimes there's like a screw stuck and they have to like drill into it and then put something in it and then so they can like Get screw, the screw it out. out I don't know why but I love that Ooh. but I'm like do they make like I don't know. Do they make, like, tools specifically just for that? And that's what I'm puzzled about. Okay. The most random shit ever. Is it, like, a drill that they're unscrewing it with? Or is it, like, a screwdriver? It's, like, um, a piece that they... I don't know. They just kind of stick it in the... They, they kind of drill into the screw that's stuck. And then they... You know, that's what Just, I'm puzzled about. I don't okay, know. Okay, that's true. You're puzzled about Absolutely. it. So you wouldn't you wouldn't be understanding that at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think that was what I was gonna say, did you? <laughs> no, I did not. I absolutely did not. Yeah. Um So that's a piece of my mind. Yes. And another thing I'm puzzled about is we need to figure out a way to like get you to be able to see what we're doing on our puzzling surface. So maybe like hanging something from the ceiling, like a phone or camera. Yeah. So I'm just trying to figure that out. So eventually, hopefully we'll have that feature for you. But for now, this is what you get. 
Period. I feel like <laughs> I'm just like breathing into the mic right now. Sorry if you hear me breathing. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. So our actual topic for this week is going to have to be how we met in our introductions. Yes. Because I'm guessing a lot of people who are watching this know us already. We've heard a lot of feedback from our family and friends about this, and we are so happy to have them listening to us. But for the hopeful new viewers that have not heard from us before... Hey. Hey, guys. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome <laughs> um, yeah. Yes. So we said on our last episode that we met in fifth grade. Yeah. What a time. <laughs> what a time to be alive. And Junior high, middle school. Yes. So the way our school district works was there was not like a – like basically everyone was like K through fourth grade and then they would meld into – the junior highs. Yeah. But our, our like, junior high and intermediate, it was one building, but it was, like, two separate sides. Yeah. Fifth and sixth. Seventh and seventh and eighth. and eighth. They kind of made it really complicated. Some people just have, like, K through eight, and yeah. then they go to high school. But, no. Luckily, we had... It was a big school. It was huge. I mean... Yeah, it was really big. It was, like... I feel like that's, like, the amount of kids in a high school. For, yeah, for a place that's place. not that big, yeah. So, yeah, and, like, the lunchroom, like, that was the dividing marker between the... Yeah. Between the two schools was, like, the kitchen of the lunchroom. Yeah. And then each one had their own lunchrooms. It was, like, the kitchen and then 5th and 6th, 7th and 8th. Yes. So, I remember we met then, so I'm trying to think. We had the same teacher. And was that when they had pods? Yeah. Did we, we had pods. I yeah. was in five three. Wasn't I in the same pod as you? Yes. <laughs> we were we were in five three. We were in five three, yes. You so you had like three teachers and you had your homeroom teacher, and both of our homeroom teachers was Mrs. W. We won't say her actual name. Yeah, we won't say her actual name, but we had her and she was a pretty good teacher. And we I'm trying to think of like when was the moment we actually met though. I mean, I think we sat next to each other in a cl- in her class. Or what did we sit next to each other in the gym? What Remember, like, the first day when everyone went to the gym and, like, you... Maybe. Like, kind of hung out before going to your class. Like, they wanted to give us an introduction. I'm trying to think of, like, some funny things that we did while we were in the same class. Look at the difference between our sides. What's so different about it? You're spread out, and I everything's just jumbled up. So, <laughs> I'm, I told you. I'm well, that saves more space than me. Oh yeah, you're finding the edges. I'm yeah. not. This Anyways, thing, this thing I don't know. We aren't. We don't know how we feel about it. No, I'm fine with it. Wait, just, do you want to hear some? I want to to really get you ingrained in the experience. Absolutely. Yeah. Sorry, that's just my word. We have some funny stories to tell from that classroom specifically. The first being, we had to walk in lines, as most people do when you're in class and in school. And I believe I was behind Isabella in line. And (laughs) the way that the lockers were is like you had a half locker. It wasn't like a full locker. It was like stacked. Yeah, stacked stacked lockers. So, and oftentimes, people's, like, backpack strings would hang (laughs) from the locker. Yeah. Do you want me to? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay, so she, I think she was behind me. Well, you were. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Mm -hmm. I decided the intrusive, I I let the intrusive thoughts win, and I pulled the backpack string (laughs) so hard and the locker opened <laughs> and slammed into Sydney's face. Mm-hmm. And in the, in the quiet show. line where you're not really supposed to be making a lot of noise. Yeah. That's what happened. I don't think I actually, like, did anything. I don't know. I don't think I screamed. I think I just kind of, like, I probably accepted it. like, <laughs> scream laughed or something. But I don't know because we were probably quiet because we had some badass kids in our class. Did we? I think so. Yeah, we did. Yeah, like, Mrs. W was not having it. Mm -hmm. So we were trying to be, like, decent students. Yeah. Yeah. So that was one story. And then another story from that class. Mrs. W taught math. 
And because like there was like in the pod, there was like three teachers. So she was she was in charge of math in our homeroom. In English, right? Yeah. yeah. Math and English. Miss A was social studies. Yeah, and Miss B was science. Oh. So why was Miss W just like carrying the world on her back? Who knows? <laughs> she had it going. But I don't think I think maybe the other ones taught math and English too. Then no, no. But every they all had a homeroom. Technically, yes, yes. Because that would be like the beginning or the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So another story from that is we were learning the classic PEMDAS, which is parentheses, <laughs> ex exponents, exponents, or equal. No, ex. I think it's exponent. Yeah, like the the two at the top or like the four at the top. Yeah, my was multiplication, D was division, and then addition, subtraction. Yeah. So the way that Mrs. W taught us how to remember that was a little um, what do you call that? Acronym. Acronym. Period. No, acronym is the PEMDAS. Yeah. But then a little like saying alliteration. To go about no. Anyways, that thing. So where you like take something and you're like, okay, this word goes with this, but it has nothing to do with the actual thing that you're learning. So we were in class and all of a sudden, okay, she wants us, Mrs. W wanted us to say like, um, say it in a funny voice. And so she was like, okay, say it like, in a country voice, say it in like a British voice, and then she gets to our group, our table group, mm -hmm. so like four tables, yeah, put in one, and she goes, okay guys, now do it like you're southern. And no one was like wanting to do it at this point, like it was one of those things where the teacher's asking you to do something and no one's participating. Yeah. So I go ahead oh, Lordy. and I go, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. <laughs> and everyone just like busts out laughing. And I am not the kind of person to like, She was. I was quiet. quiet. Kid. She was like, quiet kid. Rarely heard from me Yeah. in any way. And Mrs. W just thought it was like the funniest thing ever. She was shocked to say the least. <laughs> yeah, she was so shocked. She was like, that can come out of you. That girl. She, Anyways. This is going to have, oh. Yeah. It just wipes right off. Yeah. <laughs> but she was, like, very shocked. I remember being at, like, recess, and she... I think that started the bond between... Us. Whatever bond, if there was yeah. a bond between you guys, that was probably what started it. Yeah. She was like, okay. Yeah, exactly. She yes. So, that was fun. And then other things that we did... Well, one other thing I can remember from her class is when we... When my toenail fell oh, off, fuck. Jesus. when I, so we had like this, we have a pool at our house and like we were getting the diving board, but the diving board wasn't there yet. So it was just these two like red little nubs that like sat on the concrete and I just like banged my toe into it, like one of my like little toes. And it Wasn't just it like your pinky toe or no, it was like next to your big toe. Yeah. Ugh. And Instagram was newly, newly in development at that point. New middle, one, two, three, four. Yes. And I went ahead and put a picture of my toe on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> my bloody toe. It was really fun. Lovely. What a time. And my, just like my goal on Instagram at that time was to just get on the explore page. Right? Wasn't that what it was called? Yeah. With that like the filters. So, I feel like that was so... <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't thinking about the explore page at that age. Uh, for was, some reason, I was. I wanted to be really artsy with it and, like, yeah. get just, like... Hey, and that's okay. In, yeah. Hey, that's all right. Thank you. That's Thank right. you. Yes. I already got a little line here. Oh, bitch, I don't have anything. I got all the edges. But the edges first. that's what we did in yeah. middle school. And then... Other like funny things once we become once we became closer friends would have been like it started with sleepovers like just hanging out at one of our places mostly your house yeah my house was like the spot to be yeah and then it ended up like we would have sleepovers she has a little brother and he, how old was he he's two years younger yeah so we were like twelve or eleven. 
Yeah, and he was probably like nine. nine. Oh my gosh. Nine yeah. Oh, Max. Yeah. But we literally. Hey, Max. <laughs> <laughs> we were like three peas in a pod we kind of forced him to be yeah friend. to be friends with us i don't know why he, he probably enjoyed I mean, it yeah i mean pretended to dumb shit together like but like innocent dumb shit as okay but like one thing wasn't so innocent like what like putting the dog on the treadmill oh my god no we gotta <laughs> cut that that's animal <laughs> abuse <laughs> yeah anyways mm. we won't delve into that one mm-hmm. anymore <laughs> PETA. For real. Bro, those commercials keep popping up on my YouTube. Like what? Like like animal abuse? And it's like, um, puppy mills are so bad. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. You. I know. I wrote an essay about a fucking puppy mill as a kid. And, <laughs> and it's like, it showed like, like an unalive dog. <gasps> dogs in crates. I feel like that's so legal. I know. Every time I'm just like blocking, blocking the TV and then like pressing skip. Skip ad, yeah, skip ad. Immediately. Yeah. And then we have one thing to say. Let me just. Sydney's roommate is here. I wonder what she's thinking right now. I don't know, Marissa. What are you thinking? <laughs> hey, Marissa. <laughs> she's right behind hey, us. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. So like that was one thing we did. And like another thing trying to think we would always like listen to music on like a speaker it was always music or youtube or like reality tv like kardashians it, it hgtv did we watch hgtv did we i don't know i feel like it was always on at your place yeah it was like the food network hgtv yeah and now it's more like when planes crash in like 48 hours the fun stuff yeah yeah but we've done that i'm trying to think of other things we used to do we used to go to target a lot as you do if you have nothing to do in indiana yeah just a quick trip to target and we have a good target by our house yeah we do we're blessed in that area Mm -hmm. yeah went to target slushies oh my god when remember when you didn't have a car and you would just like we would walk everywhere yeah obviously you didn't have a car because you were like 11 years old but like your parents didn't want to take you anywhere and you just wanted to like go so you would just walk or you'd ride a bike yeah i think okay did we first start hanging out during school in fifth grade or the summer after fifth grade because i feel like i came over when hannah would be babysitting Mm -hmm. and that's like what started i was there every single day yeah and i just walked maybe we like only hung out in school like the first time like we only hung out in school and then school ended and we were like well we should still hang out yeah i think that's like I don't know when yeah. we realized, like, hey, we can actually do that. We can be we, friends. Hey, we can we can hang out with people. We don't have to be in school. No, no way. Yeah, so we went to tar- we'd go to Target, have slushies. Oh, and there's a Starbucks close to my house, so it's like the perfect scenario. We had a lot of places that we could walk to, yeah. which was nice. And now I see like middle schoolers like on the street and the sidewalks, oh just like God. walking to get stuff, and I'm like, that used to be us. The good old days. See it. Yeah. Back when we didn't have a car. And now that I think about it, we could have been walking to school as well. You could have been walking to school. They wouldn't let us, though. They, they, I think they, like, made it very clear you weren't allowed to. Mm. Because it was such, like, a high traffic area. There's, like, that big, yeah, you have to yeah. cross that road. Yeah. I don't know. I would probably get hit by a bus knowing me. <laughs> yeah. Not hit by a bus. Mm, probably. Mm. I'm trying to think of other things that we would do. I feel like we liked going to the container store. Maybe. You did. I mean, <laughs> girl, yeah, I, Where true. we were, I just followed pretty much. I'm just Aww. I'm stealing edges. Thank you. See, maybe that's why I can't find many edges, because you're stealing them. Yep. So sorry. I'm trying to think. What else? What else? Ooh, is that one? Ooh, I just... Nope. Um, let's that's see. absolutely not a piece. Um, what about our, like, like, what was your, what was our, some of our favorite songs? This was like the the era of music. Yeah. So like, Payphone by Maroon 5. Oh God. And then 22 by Taylor Swift. Oh my God. Taylor Swift. We love her. Yes. Obsessed with her. (laughs) 
Absolutely obsessed. Um, I knew you were troubled by Taylor Swift with the goat sound. Oh my god! You know? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yes. I remember that. Mm-hmm. Um, um, Video Star, the app. Video. Star. Oh my god, Video Star, bro. That was our shit. We just like absolutely love Video Maybe Star. Maybe that's why like you're into digital. Yeah, design and, design and it was and video media. Star that video it Star absolutely mm-hmm. began that journey for me. Kicked it off. That was so fun though because you just like pick a song and you could pick like real songs too, right? I don't think so. I think some of a lot of them. No, maybe I'm thinking of like iMovie. I think you could pick real songs. Or maybe like I remember doing one to like TikTok by Kesha. Oh, and the Bruno Mars song. Yeah, you Today could pick real I songs. Do. Yeah. See, that was, like, kind of, like, TikTok before. Or, like, musically, kind of like that. Yeah. I never got into this. Oh, my God. Remember Wanello? 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 Yes. The, like, shopping, quote-unquote, app. Yes. But you would just, like, screenshot. You just like everything? I think everything in my cart was Chevron and mint mint green. Mint green. Jesus. That's crazy. Mm. Oh, my God. That just brought back. And what about, um, Keek? <laughs> wait, that was like, wait, Keek was like a texting app, right? Keek was the video. Was the, remember like Kylie Jenner was like, hi, Keek, or something oh, like that? Oh, maybe, yeah. And they would make like really funny videos. Yes. Or O-V-O-O-V-O-O. Uvu. Because that was, like, was like FaceTime Skype. before FaceTime. Yeah. It was like another version of Skype, I yeah. think. Exactly. And then, oh, uh, what else? I don't know. There's another white. Mm. Like, Nicki Minaj. Super bass. Super bass. No, but, okay, remember when we would, like, we'd FaceTime every morning before school? Mm-hmm. I think that started during, like, winter break. Mm-hmm. And then it just ended up being like, oh my god, we're we going can back. we can keep doing this. Yeah, we're going back to school. Let's just face it. Yeah, and we were up early, bro. Yeah, we had to be up early for the bus. Nope, nope. I know for living fucking across the street. Yeah, because we had to go pick mm. up every other person in the neighborhood. Yeah, I was always the f- yeah I was the first stop. Yeah, or like the second. Yeah, um, and then at some point we like convinced our parents to just let us have sleepovers on the weekends because they knew we would just go to sleep and not do anything. Yeah. Which was nice. But then we ended up, like, just staying up all night with Max doing dumb shit in the living room. Mm -hmm. And the dogs. And the dogs. The dogs. Was there just one at the time? Yeah, it was just Newman. Just our miniature pincher. But then also, like, you had Max. I think we had just gotten Max. Yeah. And then, like, like, Samson had just died. And then Max. Because I don't remember seeing Samson that much. Yeah. He was going through it. Yeah. Bye. Rest in peace, Samson. Rest in peace. Yeah, and then, but yeah, we would just, like, hang out with Max. Oh, my God. With Max? Remember? So, like, after we got the pool, we were, like, in the pool, and we were, like, night swimming, and Max was with us, and he, like, he was, like, oh, my God, guys, I'm always so terrified that, like, (laughs) is going to be in my window, like, at night. And I was, like, that's so random. But then we were, like... Oh my god, we have to print out a picture of <laughs> and put it in the window and like to scare him. We really gave him nightmares from that. Yeah, so we did that. And then we also put it like because we have pictures of like our me and Max's school pictures on the wall. We also put that right there, like in his picture instead. And just like <laughs> terrified him and just Jeez. teased him. And your parents were like your parents loved our sense of humor. Yeah. I don't... Because we were just entertaining, probably. We were... I would assume. We were the entertainment. And we were never really that, like, terrible. Like, we weren't bad kids, either. I don't think so, at least. It's like, they're like, oh my god, no, they were terrible kids. Fuck them kids. Yeah, no. I think we were pretty good to them. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay, last thing we want to do before we end this episode. I feel like we've gone into a lot of our stories Mm -hmm. so far. And it's been wonderful. And more won't come out as we 
continue on but we want to play a puzzle at the end of every game obviously we're doing our puzzle during the podcast but at the end we want to do a riddle yeah a puzzle something online and yeah. today we're going to do my current obsession which is connections the new york times game and isabel is going to put, pull it up on her phone because my phone is recording this right now okay and you've never played this before right no I've seen you play it, but that's about it. Yeah. So we're going to play together, and I'll explain the game um, as we go, and we're just going to, like, screen record so you can see it if you're watching on YouTube. If not, then you need to head on over to YouTube and give us a little subscribe. Okay. Please. So, Connections is a word grouping game. So you start out with 16 words. And you're going to go and be like, okay, what do these words have in common? Four categories. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so, like, I'm trying to think. I'm thinking, like... Bag, baby, toy. Or, like... Ooh, what about, like, Scrabble? Like, things you use in Scrabble, like, racks for the... Yeah. Bag, a bag of tiles. Board and, like, number. Board or, or, like, cell. Tiles. Tiles. Yeah. Damn. (gasps) We got it. And that's the purple category, which means it's the hardest one. So this should just be easier. You do, like, toy, baby, mini, pocket. Or what about like digits, number? Oh yeah. S- cell. Cell contact, contact for like mm-hmm. phone numbers or like phone. That worked. Can, Can I get your blank phone info request? Oh, this gosh. is the green category. Um. Pocket. I feel like crest, peak, summit, and vertex are. Yes. What like mountains or? Tops, the top of things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Highest mm. point. And now we have the last category. So what do we think these words are going to be? Mm-hmm. Like, what category are they going to be? Small. Yes. Meanings for small. Modifiers yeah. meaning small. Wow. Perfect score, babe. Amazing. Sweet. We love it. Yay. So that was our puzzle. So that was our episode for the week. We're going to keep these short. Short and sweet little episodes, 30 minutes. And, yeah, we'll see you next week. Thanks for puzzling. Wait. Thanks for puzzling with us. What was our tagline from last week? Um, Girl, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. We'll we'll get back to you on that one. But, yeah, thanks for puzzling with us. See you next week. Love you. Bye. (laughs) Oh, by the way, make sure to like, comment. Subscribe, notification, rate, follow us on social media too. The username is That's Puzzling Dot Pod. Thank you so much. Love you. Bye.